Hey everyone, thank you so much for coming by today. We are gonna be making pink baked ziti. Now, baked ziti is one of my favorite dishes. If we go out to dinner, it is the first thing I order. I love it, and after making this recipe, it is a staple in our house every other week. So I'm very excited to share this recipe with you from Magnolia Table, volume number three. The first step is to prep our tomatoes and our onions, and then we're gonna head over to the stove to put our sauce together, and then combine the ziti with the sauce and throw it in the oven. So let's get started. All right, so let's get our onions and our tomatoes ready. So I'm just gonna chop the end of this and then quarter it up, and then put these to the side, and then cut onto the onion, which we need about 3 fourths of a cup. All right, I'm gonna put our tomatoes in a bowl and then cut our onion. Okay, so we actually need three-fourths of a cup. We're just about a cup. I'm just gonna use the rest of this onion not to waste it. And I made a little bit of a mess. All right, so we are gonna go over to the stove now and we're gonna combine all these, these ingredients and leave the sauce on for about 45 to 50 minutes. So let's do this. Okay, so now it's time to make our sauce. So first I'm gonna take our olive oil and I put the burner on uh, to a low medium heat and our butter. I'm gonna let this melt. Once it's melted, we're gonna add in our onion and let that soften for about four to five minutes. Okay, so now that our olive oil and our butter is ready to go, it's melted, I am gonna go ahead and add in our onion. We're gonna leave this on here for about four to five minutes. We want this onion to get nice and soft. And then we'll add in our garlic and the rest of the ingredients. In the meantime, while this is softening up our onion, I'm gonna put on our water for the ziti. We have a pound, I'm gonna splash some salt in here. And once this is boiled, we will add in our ziti. See you in four to five. Okay, so now we're gonna add in a couple garlics. They're all whole, we did not cut them, so we're gonna keep them whole. Um, and we're gonna leave this on the stove for about three minutes before we add in our onion powder, our tomatoes, and our salt and pepper. Okay, so it's been a couple minutes. We're ready to add in our tomatoes, our onion powder, our basil, and some salt and pepper. Give it a good stir. Put this on simmer. And this is where we let this simmer for about 45 minutes. So, I'll be stirring this occasionally. We'll start to see the tomatoes start to decompress and become, you know, saucy. And uh, I'll keep stirring this as we go. Once our water is ready and it's boiled, I'll throw in the ziti and leave that on for about 10 to 12 minutes. Take it out, drain it, and get ready to combine. All right, our water is boiling. I'm gonna throw this in. And set the timer, let's see, 11 minutes. Be back here in 11. All right, so our ziti is ready, it is done. So I am just gonna do one last quick stir to make sure nothing's sticking. I'm gonna drain this, I'm gonna push this to the side and wait till our sauce to be ready to go. Okay, see you in about 35 minutes. Okay. 
Okay, so our sauce is ready to go. It's been on the stove for about 15 minutes simmering, so I'm gonna bring that over here and get our immersion blender going with adding our cream. Let's do this. Okay. It smells so good. It's been smelling good for the last half hour, 45 minutes. So I am very, very looking forward to dinner tonight. All right, let's immersion. Just got smacked with some tomato sauce, so that's cool. All right, let's add in the cream. And I'm going to emerge in a way. All right, we are all set. So this is fully blended, it is ready to go. We are going to take our ziti, throw it in this prepared baking dish, mix this with our now smelling delicious sauce. Then we're gonna add in some mozzarella and some of our Parmesan cheese and bake this in the oven for a little bit. It smells so good, I cannot wait to eat for dinner. Let's do this. Okay, so it's time to finally assemble our baked ziti. So I have our cooked ziti here. I'm gonna throw this into our prepared baking dish. Okay. And now our yummy sauce, which I'm going to just throw on here and mix it once we have all of it in here. Okay, I'm going to mix this around, make sure everything's coated. Wish you could smell the garlic and the basil and the tomatoes. It smells so good. the best ingredients, the mozzarella. So I like to just chunk this in. I just pull and ripping pieces apart. I will mix this again because I want to make sure that the mozzarella is really tucked in there. Because I like when there's cheese just spread all around. Definitely want some more. So we'll do a little bit more. Okay. All right, now we have our Parmesan cheese. I'm gonna sprinkle this on top. Okay, can't go wrong with cheese. All right, I'm gonna wrap this in foil, put this in the oven at 350 for 30 minutes, and it's dinner time. Okay, it's foiled and ready to go. And 30. Alrighty, so our baked CD is ready to get out of the oven. We'll let it cool for 10 minutes and then give it a try. Let's see how it looks. It looks yummy. Can't wait to try it. See you back in 10. Okay, so it's time to try our pink baked CD. and it's perfect. This is the easiest meal to make ahead of time as well, so if you're having company over the holidays, 
Get this prepped, leave it in the fridge or even the freezer and then cook when you're ready to go. Thank you so much for coming by today. Really appreciate it. I look forward to seeing you next time. Have a great day. Please like and subscribe and I'll catch you next time. Benny, look what you did to me, baby girl. Look what you did to me. Benny, it's all your fault, baby girl. Bring it over to the counter and use our immersion blender. Oh, boom. Oh, boom. I wonder if you're gonna see me get smacked. It was like. <laughs>